Welcome back. This is parameters part two in the function section. If we can set one parameter, can we set two? We can set as many parameters as we'd like by adding them when we declare the function separated by commas like this. So we have a function get remainder, which takes in number one, number two, and then console logs, number one, remainder, number two. And then they call the function here, get remainder, and they pass in 365 and 27, which will output 14. First, it says the get remainder function is two parameters, number one and number two. When we call the get remainder function on the last line, we include two numbers as the parameters, also separated by commas. This is referred to as passing in parameters to a function. In this case, we're telling the function to assign number one the value of 365 and number two the value of 27. We are passing in 365 and 27 to the get remainder function. When the get remainder runs, the function knows what number one and number two equals since we passed in the parameters when we called the function. Therefore, it evaluates 365 remainder 27, which produces the result 14. By adding multiple parameters, we can build functions that are more flexible. Now the function has two variables that we can define when we call the function. So the instructions, the first says, let's add another parameter to the take order function to make the order even more descriptive. So we can go here to topping, add another parameter, crust type. Let's run this. Now we see this logged out. Order pizza topped with bacon. That's because we didn't modify the inside at all. We just added this new parameter. Second, it says inside the take order function, interpolate the crust type parameter to construct the sentence like this. So they want thing crust to be added in there. So if we go to our take order function, and pass in the second parameter, which will take the place of crust type, we would put thin crust. And then in order for it to run in here, we would want to space that, plus, then we put in our parameter crust type, and then plus, and here we would add another quote, a space, and now it should print out order thin crust, because thin crust is the second parameter, which will get replaced here, order, thin crust, pizza, topped with topping, which is bacon. So if we run this, we should get our desired outcome, which we do. Third, below the take order function, call the function three times and pass in different arguments each time for the topping and crust type. So we can call this a few more times. We can really use it as many times as we want. And we could pass in random stuff like grapes, chocolate, apple. And then we could do pan crust, um, extra thin, extra not thin. And if we run this, we will see order thin crust pizza topped with bacon. Order, pan crust pizza topped with grapes, thin crust pizza topped with chocolate, extra not thin crust pizza topped with apple. And again, just to take something out of this lesson, we put parameters in our functions to allow us to be more versatile and get different results that we want within our function. That's it for this lesson.